Here are four different side hustles you haven't heard of before. The first one you might have heard of uh, if you are watching uh, Joshua Mayo. And this side hustle is uh, cleaning trash cans. He did a video about this uh, some time ago, but uh, uh, if you haven't seen the video, uh, go check it out, he's amazing. Well, I'm not here to steal someone's idea, uh, so I'm going to do some fine tuning uh, so you can make even more money and make it even easier. So according to his video, uh, people are actually willing to pay $65 per trash can. It's easy money as it is, and uh, the only thing you need is a power washer and some cleaning products. Um, and you don't have to go for the fancy stuff in the beginning, just uh, enough to get you started. And uh, yeah, um, I wouldn't recommend uh, spending too much money uh, before you know that uh, it works and you've gotten some feedback and you can see that it works in your area. I saw this and I thought uh, it's a great idea, but uh, I saw a problem. Uh, if you're going house to house and uh, cleaning their trash cans, you need to find water somewhere. And it might be uh, simple to get everywhere. So when you've done this for a while and see that it works, getting some money, I'll actually recommend buying some trash cans for yourself. By having your own trash cans, you can simply just uh, drive around and switch the ones uh, you are going to clean uh, with the, the ones you have and take all the trash cans back to your place or wh wherever works for you and clean them all at the same time. It will save you time and it will make your business grow even faster. And you won't have to worry about uh, hooking up your water hose uh, somewhere. <laughs> so let's talk money. To be realistic, uh, you might get uh, around $40 per uh, trash can. And let's say you have uh, 10 trash cans to your disposal. It will maybe take you an hour uh, to collect the trash cans depending on how far apart they are. and. Uh, another hour to clean them. So if you do this uh, 8 hours a day, that's $1600 a day. You could also have a friend that uh, helps you with uh, the pickups while you clean or vice versa. Uh, then you could uh, get it done even faster and uh, be looking at around uh, $4000 a day. Alright, here's one that uh, I can guarantee you haven't heard of before. Buy berry plants, uh, plant them in your, your garden and let other people pick your berries. It, it might sound weird but hear me out. Well first of all you need a decent sized garden to plant these uh, plants. <laughs> it will require some investments but uh, you can probably get the uh, plants for under $10 each. Then you sell the berries for like uh, 8 to 10 dollars per liter or uh, 35 dollars per gallon. But do your uh, research to see which uh, berries are the most profitable and uh, most likely to sell in your area before you buy the plant. Realistically you uh, could be looking at at least uh, your money back on your first year. But as the plants grow, uh, they will have more berries and you will earn much more. So uh, two, uh, two, three years from now you could be looking at uh, three to four hundred percent in profit. It's not a fast way to make money in the beginning, but uh, it will help you earn money over and over for years and years. You might be thinking, but hey, if uh, there's no customers, I will have all these berries and uh, they will go bad. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about this, but because uh, then you can pick them yourself and uh, sell them uh, on marketplace and or whatever. You could also uh, do your own jam, 
just for yourself or uh, to sell to others. It <laughs> works as well. The next one on the list is selling graphic assets online. What I really like about this is uh, when you have gotten everything up and running, uh, it will generate a great passive income. You don't have to do much when you have uh, set up everything for sale. So what is uh, graphic assets? Well in the gaming world there are a lot of programmers that are creating uh, games and stuff but uh, don't have either the knowledge or the time to create these models for the game. It could be a backgrounds, a character, a tree, a bush, anything. So what do they do? Well, they go into these uh, different uh, websites that uh, provides them with all these assets. Uh, so instead of wasting time on learning how to do this themselves, they can just buy a complete uh, asset pack for $10. So if you want to try this out, I would recommend going to these websites and search for which items are selling the best. It could be like a uh, platformer gamer pack uh, with background and a character and some leaves or whatever, whatever. When you have gotten a understanding on which ones are uh, the most popular, just do the same with some few t uh, tweaks here and there of course this way you know that uh, it is something that uh, sells and uh, will attract the buyers but now you might be sitting there and thinking i don't know anything about this and uh, i can't even paint well it's actually a lot easier than it sounds and you can find a ton of uh, different uh, tutorials online a program you can use to create these assets are called Inkscapes. It's free to use and easy to understand. And what makes this so user friendly is that it uses a vector graphic. And to explain how vector graphic works, it's basically you put dots everywhere on a canvas and then you can move them around until you're satisfied with uh, what you have created. So you don't have to be a master at painting or anything. Just move it around until uh, it looks good and uh, most of the assets uh, will probably just be like uh, pixels anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just learn how the program works and you're good to go. And yeah, there's ton of videos out there uh, to teach you. So uh, it won't be a problem to get started. So to the last one, uh, that is uh, building benches. This requires some work, but uh, with some practice you can uh, do them fast and they sell very good. This is something I plan to do myself. And that's because I've already created my first bench. <laughs> Right, I had uh, some free time uh, at my previous uh, job, uh, so I took some uh, spare pieces and uh, looked up a guide on how to create benches and uh, did it. <laughs> and I had seen uh, pictures of uh, this amazing bench uh, that I wanted to try out to build and uh, well, it wasn't that hard. Uh, it took me about uh, four hours to make the first one, but uh, once I uh, have done this uh, first one, I reckon uh, with some practice I would uh, be able to cut it down to two hours. And for this benches uh, in particular, there are great guides that uh, show you how to uh, cut all the pieces to get uh, almost like uh, zero waste uh, from uh, your uh, lumber. That way you can buy as little wood as possible. Uh, of course it uh, requires some material, but uh, as tools you only need a saw and a screwdriver. And if you don't have these tools, uh, you probably know someone that has uh, these tools and you can probably borrow the, it from them. Otherwise uh, you could probably find uh, some uh, at a market or something for barely nothing. Right, to build these benches uh, you need uh, about uh, 80 to 90 dollars uh, in wood, 
and then some money for the screws and uh, maybe some paint. So the benches will cost you around a hundred dollars to build. And I am confident that you could sell these for around three to four hundred dollars each depending on how good they look. Once you have uh, gotten started, getting some customers, getting the word out that you're doing this, you could uh, uh, potentially take in some uh, personal uh, requests. If they want like uh, curved edges or stuff and uh, charge them even more. Some uh, realistic numbers are like, uh, let's say you make uh, three benches a day. That's uh, $300 to invest and an uh, earning of uh, $1,000 a day. Uh, that will put you with a profit of $700 each day. And the faster you are, uh, the more money you make. But make sure to prioritize uh, the function and uh, how it looks first. <laughs> Alright, there you have it. Four different side houses you probably haven't heard of before. Make sure to uh, watch my other videos and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks! Bye!